Welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here in Vanilla FM and we are going to take a look at the new season 2027-2028. We are still in the Vanarama National League um, and I had an opportunity to uh, do four matches of this new season and so far we're not doing too badly. Eight points, two wins, two draws. Let's take a look at the squad. There were a few changes in the transfer window so we'll start with that. Now in goal, we're still going to have Owen Evans as our main goalkeeper, but we also have George Shelby on a loan uh, from Leighton Orient from Nottingham Forest in real life. So George Shelby is going to be just our backup goalkeeper. And the right side of the fence, so we have Blaine Rowe. He's back he was with us before on loan he's come back now for a permanent deal we actually closed this deal last season but he um, didn't come until the summer obviously uh, so we, we knew he was coming for, for a while in the center of defense we have three new players Jacob Goodley is the only one that's remained so first of all we have Alex Hoins and he's our best player I think uh, at the moment from Luton and Re Nugent. We also have um, Zach Simmons on loan from Halifax and Dexter Snowden also on loan from Nottingham Forest. On the left side of the fence we have two new players Greg Young he's from um, Scotland various clubs and also, where is he? Mr. Dance, Morgan Dance, on loan from uh, Bradford City. Originally, he played for Birmingham. So that's the defense. In the defensive midfield and uh, center midfield, and in fact, all the midfield, so attacking mi midfield, no changes at all. So we still have Jordan Tilson and uh, Ross on the defensive midfield position, Calvin Stringer, and uh, where is Adam Coomer in the centre midfield, right side of attacking midfield uh, we have Dylan and uh, Adam O'Shea still, and in the left side Ross Lang and Snellgrove. In attack we have one new player and another player that's come back so we have Simon Thompson he's our brand new striker he's on loan from Watford and Chris Haggerty came back again on loan this year um, there wasn't really many better options out there we still have Kay Churchley from last season and Ben as well from the end of last season so that is the squad Dynamics is still good. Obviously, we didn't make too many changes, so we're still able to maintain the leader. And finance-wise, we're not doing too badly. Uh, we have become professionals, so I think, in fact, I think in time we're going to go into the red because our wage bill is just so big compared to our income. So eventually, this could turn out to be a problem, but so far we are doing okay in the league. So let's hope that continues and we can get that promotion or that playoff. Things will get better. I'm hoping we'll go further in the FA Cup as well. And the FA Trophy, we really would like to go to that final again because that was kind of fun. Last year we missed out. We got knocked out in the fifth round of the FA Trophy, which meant we missed out on the quarterfinal. Was it quarterfinal or semi-final? I can't remember now. But anyway on the finals. For the FA Cup, I don't think we've gone past the first round in a while. So we'll be looking to, to do that. So we'll have to update the number of new gens on Patreon, so I'll do that at some point today. There are quite a few new gens in this senior squad. You can go ahead and name them on Patreon. 
If you haven't had a chance to do that, you can do so. The link is in the description. We got one injury here. So, Ross coming in. I think we're going to do quite a few changes. Well, at most two. Uh, let's make two changes in this half time. We're going to get Morgan Dance. And I think Snellgrove. I'm going to go with that. Unlucky there. <coughs> Just couldn't get back in time. So let's watch that again. It's a cross into the middle and then a shot gets blocked. But Owen falls to the ground and can't recover. The defender can't quite get there either. Defense is caught napping there. They managed to <coughs> save it last minute, but I think the defense this year is our main sh uh, strength. Midfield not so good. We weren't able to upgrade per se any of the players in midfield. So hopefully in January we can do so. The main uh, objective for the playoff, sorry, for the this season is to get to that playoff again and to hopefully win and get that promotion. We got to the playoffs last season in the previous episode. We lost at the second playoff, so we never, never got to play the final playoff. And that's going to be the goal this season, to get a bit further. We have been doing slightly better every season, pretty much, so it's promising. That could be a goal, and it is Ben Thompson. Sorry, Simon Thompson. Counter attack. Safe in Owen's hands. Be nice to get another goal here, but I don't think it's going to happen. So it's a draw, and I think we got to be happy with that. So I will continue to the half season. I'll catch up with you guys again around about uh, the winter transfer window even though there isn't really one in this league but I usually tend to do our transfers around January anyway so I'll catch up with you guys then uh, actually you can just see here in the screen how I've been doing training so I top it up with aspects of training that we are missing um, like from the attributes in our in our player in our kind of combined pool of players so at this moment uh, i am pushing any training that will improve pace and also any training that will improve um uh, w uh handling for goalkeepers as well so that's what i'm pushing at the moment in training um also community engagement and uh, team work and I give them rests as well so it's not just all work 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 
but yeah so that's what I'm doing it's helpful to have that extra training so I can start to work away at those things are missing so if you look at our physical pace is lacking so I'm trying to improve that and also if you look at goalkeepers handling is like biggest weakness so I'm trying to address that as well so I'll carry on and do that we had just a row of injuries wow looking at the medical center three injuries ongoing at the moment hopefully that won't continue for too long anyway thanks so much for watching till the end don't forget to like and subscribe i'll see you next one bye